Welcome to this timely symposium on COVID-19 and disparities in care. I'm Larry Jamison, Dean at the Perelman School of Medicine. I am grateful to Rick Bushman and Susan Weiss for their leadership of the Penn Center for Research on Coronavirus and Other Emerging Pathogens, as well as for organizing this symposium. Penn Medicine's response to COVID-19 is a case study in adapting rapidly to a crisis whose worldwide impact we could scarcely imagine when it began two years ago. I could not be more proud of the speed with which the center was established at the very outset of the pandemic and the essential role it has played in accelerating COVID research at Penn, including research on health disparities. This is the third symposium the center has sponsored and there have been similar efforts by the scientific community across the country and around the globe as we have come together to meet the challenges of COVID in all of its dimensions. COVID has been one of the worst pandemics in modern times. As you know, in the United States alone, there have been over 700,000 deaths, eclipsing the 1918 influenza pandemic. This tragedy is compounded by entrenched disparities the pandemic has revealed and to which it has contributed. Despite encouraging recent declines in the number of cases and mortality rates in the United States, the course of the pandemic remains uncertain. There will be other coronavirus outbreaks, as well as other emerging infections. This is why the ongoing work of this center is so important. Its myriad accomplishments, from leading the expansion of Biosafety Level 3 facilities at Penn, to helping launch the COVID safe testing program, to helping track SARS-CoV-2 variants in the Delaware Valley could not have been accomplished without incredible community support. Since the outset of the pandemic, donors have given nearly $15 million to COVID research at Penn Medicine. We are tremendously grateful for this support. Today's symposium reflects the breadth of its impact the program's focus on efforts to identify and address health disparities will have lessons and broad implications for how we eliminate disparities beyond those associated with COVID. Although we still have much to learn, the program highlights the enormous progress we have made. I am delighted to have this opportunity to congratulate publicly one of our presenters, Dr. Drew Weissman, for the well-deserved accolades that his foundational research on mRNA vaccines has achieved, including most recently, the Lasker Prize. Thank you all for joining in this important conversation.